Hello guys, I didn't sign up game, sorry. I haven't posted a tutorial in a couple of days. I just went to um um California and to, um to for an appointment. When I'm eighteen years old I'm gonna I have a job at Dolby Laboratories. Dolby Laboratories when I turn eighteen. In Burbank. Uh it's like by the W V, the Warner Brothers Studios. It's pretty cool. When I turn eighteen at now. But here's a tutorial on what well, my friend taught me again, another tutorial. Um, it's um a, a realistic graffiti. Well, maybe unrealistic. I know it's just real. It's just a graffiti. All right. First things first. You wanna go to file. Oh yeah, and the link will be in the description. Well, where did my tool things go? Hold on. All right. So you're gonna go to file. All right. Link. The, uh, the project is a. Uh, the link in the description is where the project. Is like half of it, it's already done. First things first, you want to go to open, open. Oh, yeah, and also links in the description for the background. For the background, too. All right, see, it's, this is gonna be that. All right, you can change the text, however, but I got this background. I, I'm gonna show you how to do it for now. All right, now I'm gonna get mine. Text, my text tool, and you want to use a writer's original, and you want to do different letters for, you know, different layers, all right? I'll be right there, and click G. And this one is a little bigger. All right, but let me center this out a little bit. All right, then, all right, now GIMP. I, now I. All right, I'm just gonna separate them out for now. Um. All right, close now. I'll get my move tool. I'm gonna put them together. Now I'm gonna like put them together. All right, but let me center this out. I'm gonna put one like right here. All right, after that, you want to get your paths tool. Actually, let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, way too much, but okay, I don't care. Th then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start a path right here and here. All right. Control Z, I'm sorry about this. Alright. Actually, around there. I don't know how to do it, but right here. All right, now I'm gonna do this. Actually, hold on, I kinda messed up here too, so hold on. All right, click on this again, and do about the same length. All right, then I'm going to drag this down. About like right there. Now let's zoom out a little bit. Alright, let's zoom. Alright, now it's good enough. Then let's click this little node. Now let's do it right here. And right here. Alright, I'm going to lift this up like right here. And like. Nah, sorry about that. 
with this? Um, I can't really get it right now. Alright, then now. Let's select this. And then I'm going to click. No. Hold control and click on a node. And now, okay, after that, click enter. Alright. Hold on, let me find my tools by click on this. Alright. After that, I'm going to go to. I'm going to click on the. Like, click on new layer, transparent, okay. Then you wanna then you wanna get your bucket tool and click on it. And now it gives you this. Alright, after that, you wanna go down and click on your background, make it un like invisible by clicking the eye, then go into image and then merge visible layers. Merge. Now click this. Alright, after that. Okay. After that, you want to right click on on your text layer, click Add Alpha to Selection. Uh, then you want to click a new layer, tra Transparency. Click OK. Then drag it under the text layer. All right, hold on. All right, like I just did, like I just dragged, I dragged the new layer, I dragged the text layer over the new layer. Okay, good. Uh, um, then actually, what we want to do is then you when you highlight the new layer, you want to go to f select, select grow. Crap, hold on, sorry. I'm gonna select, and you want to click grow 20. All right, I just did that. After that, you want to get your. All right, you're gonna click these, and you want to click a nice light pink to a. Not a nice darkish pink and get your gradient tool and stroke it down all right sorry about this hold on After that, then select none. All right, a link will be in the description for um link for the the script from you know World of Warcraft text will also be link in the description for now. So yeah, we're gonna go to script foo layer effects bevel and embouse. All right, what you're gonna do is for your depth, you wanna put seven, your direction up, your size five, zero, 120.0, 30.0, um, then it, your highlight color should be F36BFF, best friends forever, kinda. <laughs> then normal, and then you know 75.0, and then your shadow color should be 5B345E, a darkish, gray, like a grape color, a grapeish color. Shadow mode normal, 75.0, again for shadow opacity. After that, just click OK. All right. Okay. After that, actually, it gives it more of a like a three D ish look. All right. After that. I'm gonna right click and it's gonna apply layer mask. <laughs> apply layer mask for both of them. All right, like, all right, good. After that, all right. After that, I want to right click and you want to say merge down. Right click and merge down again. Now you have these just these three layers. Okay. After that. Now we're going to add a green outline to it. So I'm going to change these stuff to green. All right. 